Deion Sanders, the former NFL Hall of Famer, now college football head coach, is coming under fire for ripping into college kids on social media. His son, Shador Sanders, who is currently mocked to be one of the top quarterbacks in the 2025 NFL Draft, has also engaged in some immature behavior. The flashy appearance and the trash talking was viewed as confidence last year, but now it is reaching toxic levels, leading fans who originally supported the Colorado Colorado University to now turn against this football program. Many are wondering, could this lead to Deion Sanders self-imploding? And could it also lead to his son's draft stock significantly falling? Let's get right into it. Deion Sanders' first season with Colorado was last year, and there was so much media hype around it. Part of the reason is because his son has a YouTube channel with almost half a million subscribers where they document every aspect of their program. Amazon Prime also filmed a series on Deion Sanders football program. One of the main reasons why they're a media sensation is not only because of the former Hall of Fame cornerback Deion Sanders leading the team, but because of the flashy antics that has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. It started early in the season when you have Shadur Sanders, the son of Deion Sanders and quarterback, flashing his Rolex watch and all the diamonds there towards the Nebraska football team. This guy has a tendency to showboat his wealth and the cockiness, or as those who are charitable would say, confidence, came early on in the season of 2023. Deion Sanders was even criticized by the Colorado State head coach for some of his fashionable gear. And I sat down with ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. So the main criticism towards Deion Sanders' program is all talk and appearance with an inability to back it up, and this really took off early in the season when Dion's son, Shiloh, was trash-talking the Oregon Ducks before a week four matchup. <laughs> This was captured by the Oregon Ducks. They released this video. You have Sanders' son threatening to beat the hell out of players and coaches. And this is an intense level of trash talk that we rarely see publicized at the college level. The media hype and showboating rub head coach of the Oregon Ducks, Dan Landing, the wrong way. Not flash, rooted in substance. Today, we talk with our pads. The Cinderella story is over, man. Right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference. Right? There's a difference. Right? This game ain't gonna be played in Hollywood, it's gonna be played on the grass. Right? It's gonna be played on the grass. Ultimately, Shiloh Sanders, Dion's son, could not back up the trash talk ahead of that Oregon Ducks game. He actually had to be taken to an emergency room after that game, and he was quoted saying that he was peeing blood after getting off the plane and said he made a tackle, landed on his kidney, and had to go to the ER. After starting off 3-0 and undefeated, Colorado lost to the Oregon Ducks 42-6. And what we would see is a complete downfall after all the media hype, after all the hired film crews that they have around their football team, it all led to a 4-8 and eight season. After being whooped by the Oregon Ducks, Deion Sanders Colorado would only win one game against Arizona State. Deion Sanders recently came under fire for denying a report that suggested that he would pull an Eli Manning with his kid Shador Sanders. Pulling an Eli Manning meaning rejecting teams in the NFL draft and choosing where you want to go. But in this clip in the Million Dollars podcast, it seems very clear that is what Sanders suggested. Now, all this is subjective because I know where I want, kind of want them to go. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget Shallow, okay? Mm -hmm. But I know where I want them to go. So there's certain cities that hey, ain't going to happen. It's okay, you want point? It's going to be, a, it's not a, I'm sorry, it's going to be an Eli. So he said it was going to be an Eli when talking about Shadur Sanders. And apparently the fact that he would be choosy with football teams is a complete lie. Who, who said that? And did you see me say that? Well, that's why I wanted to ask you yeah. because, you know, I don't know who's saying that. Thing about a lie, a lie is so fast. It can outrun the truth any day. Uh, that's a bold-faced lie. Um, that's a stupid lie. I have more than six owners that are friends. 
I have more than six GMs that are friends. In Sanders' defense, he was denying a report that there are only six teams he would allow his kids to play for. But as that podcast clip showed, even if it's not six, clearly he is planning on being choosy in the NFL draft. Now the latest drama is surrounding the transfer portal. Last year, Colorado had a massive amount of players who were pushed out of the program and told they should enter the transfer portal and play for other teams and universities. And you had an interview with The Athletic where there are some players who were criticizing the program and how they were treated. But what's even more insane is we have Deion Sanders responding to this on social media and also his son Shadur Sanders responding to this. You had one former Colorado Buffalo saying you never even tried to get to know me. He was destroying guys' confidence. And so Shadur Sanders decides to go on social media, retweet this and say, I don't even remember him to be honest. Bro had to be very mid at best. So Shadur, instead of leaving the report alone, decides to respond on social media, making it public, throwing shade at the guy, and this has gone absolutely viral on social media. Part of the reason why the Sanders family is so offended by this report is because some of these kids are ripping into the program. They said they felt like it was more of a reality show than a serious football program. And these young athletes' criticism of Dion do make him look bad. They claim he lacks compassion and that he was destroying their confidence even though he markets himself as a guy who is trying to lift young men up instead they claim Dion was doing the exact opposite this is not the first time that Shadur Sanders has not been able to handle criticism that well you have the real coach JB who was famous for his appearance on last chance you as one of the key coaches there he had both jokes I had ace home boy the game's over I ain't no math major, but I'm a hustler. And he did a video criticizing Shadur Sanders, saying that he's not it. And Shadur had to respond to this, calling coach Jason Brown a clickbaiter. But this is where things got wild and Dion got involved. Caleb Mathis of Dion's Colorado Buffaloes made a post that has since been deleted. And you had this player who left their team criticizing him for only having 38 yards. Colorado players mocked this guy on social media, pointing out his stats in the 2000s. 2023 season. This player that they're mocking, Jaheim Ward, did transfer away from Colorado because he was denied playing time. It is one thing for these young players to trash talk each other, but then Coach Prime got involved. Deion Sanders retweeted this former player's stats and said, La Jesus, mocking the fact that the 2023 stats are not that great. Obviously, he did not get much playing time. And this went absolutely viral on social media and led to other people clapping back at Deion Sanders for roasting a young college athlete. You had someone write Lord Jesus and posting Colorado's record last year. And even fans of Deion Sanders saying this is not the way, coach. You're better than this. But what is more hilarious is Ward, who is being roasted by Deion Sanders publicly on social media in front of millions of people, posted Sanders' numbers here saying, damn, it's crazy. I got more pass deflections than your son. You have Shiloh's number here at safety with only three pass deflections while Ward had four pass deflections. Obviously Shiloh's at a better program and played more than Ward, but the point being is people ate this up. People laughed at this and it seems like fans are now rooting against Colorado with all the trash talking, all the showboating and now the head coach, Coach Prime, getting into Twitter wars with people on social media when he did post this a lot of Jesus mocking a transfer student's stats. You had a senior writer of The Athletic respond to this and she said what is the benefit of a tweet like this? A lot of people are critical of Sanders' immature behavior. Deion Sanders continued to post throughout the day after this whole debacle, saying folks don't hate you because they really don't know you. They admire you in a negative way. They realize they can't be you, think like you, talk like you, or walk in your shoes. That bothers them. Always smile when you see them because that makes them admire you so much more in that negative way. So Sanders is chalking up all this criticism, whether it be from the transfer students, whether it be from fans who don't like that he is mocking transfer students. According to Dion, it is all rooted in jealousy. You have fans continuing to rip into Dion Sanders saying, tell your son to stop acting like he's the coldest out there and then put up a four and eight season.
season. Ultimately, the 4-8 and eight season is what people go back to. And this is where things get crazy in terms of the NFL draft. Sanders responded to that last critic saying that his son will be a top five pick. Where's your son going? LOL, I got time today. LOL, LOL. Sanders, who previously alluded to the fact that he would pull an Eli Manning with his son if he did not like the NFL team that was drafting him, is now saying that he projects his son to be a top five overall pick. Fans of other teams who despise Colorado are obviously ripping into Dion for these comments, saying which son is going to go top five, reposting images of Shadur Sanders struggling against Oregon. Dion is not incredibly wrong despite the fact that Colorado had a rough season last year. Shadur is mocked to be one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL draft, and actually DraftKings Sportsbook has a mock to go first overall in 2025. Shadur Sanders did not have bad numbers last year, 27 touchdowns, three picks. However, Shadur Sanders' passing touchdowns last season put him at 13th in the FBS. In terms of passing yards, Shadur was ranked 25th in the FBS. On top of this, you have the social media antics. You have his father, who seems highly involved in his football career. Would this affect his draft stock? There were reports by Ian Rappaport that a high school TV show that Spencer Rattler appeared in led to his draft stock tanking. Meanwhile, Shadur Sanders has his own YouTube channel that documents his entire career at Colorado. And today, Shadur and his dad, Deion Sanders, are talking shit on former players who have now entered the transfer portal. Yes, these other players are criticizing their football team in that report, in that article with The Athletic, but typically people take the high road, especially when they're in a position of leadership like a head coach or a starting quarterback. Shadur Sanders is a great college football quarterback. He did not have a great offensive line last year. However, he has been criticized for holding on to the ball too long and taking a ton of sacks. Is Dion really this confident that he is going to be a top five overall pick and will these social media antics will this trash talking lead to sanders draft stock falling if this dad and his son cannot handle criticism at the college level how are they going to be able to handle criticism at the nfl level Deion sanders colorado buffaloes have now created an environment where fans are rooting against them based on these antics that happened this past week there are going to be more people rooting for their demise let me know your thoughts in the comments below is Deion sanders just being confident or is he being cocky and will Shadur Sanders draft stock fall like this video if you have not yet and subscribe to my channel Wi-Fi Willie for more football content for me peace out and I hope you have a good one